Mark, Mark Littlewood, what do, what do you make of it? I thought this was a pretty feeble budget, in truth. I was disappointed with it, but almost certainly not for the same reasons that Emily was. I am seriously concerned about the state of the nation's finances, and I think it is incumbent upon politicians of all parties to spell out how bad they are. Yeah. The coalition government, in carrying out what we're told is a plan of austerity, will actually add £600 billion or more to the national debt over five years. That's about £10,000 for every man, <coughs> woman and child in the United Kingdom, over and beyond the tax revenue that they are bringing in. If that is austerity, I dread to think what largesse looks like. We are, we are borrowing too much, which I, just, uh, I don't think is only economically dangerous. I believe it is intergenerationally immoral. We are passing on spending on ourselves today to our children and grandchildren. I think that is immoral and unacceptable. But we are taxing people to death. We still have a state sector in Britain towards 50% of GDP. Nearly 50p in every pound spent in Britain. So that's spent the, by the that, government. That is ludicrous. So what high. would you cut? Well, what would you cut? Would you, uh, what would you do about taxes? Well, let, lower let, taxes let me give you an indication of where uh, we're seeing bills go up under this government. Part of it is just because of the prevailing state of the economy. You can decide whether you blame them or not. The welfare bill. The welfare bill is going to be about £200 billion next year. What's that mean in real terms? Every household in Britain is contributing more than £8,000 to the welfare state. I'm including pensions in that as well. If and the NHS in that or not? Oh, I, yeah. The, the NHS, the budget of the National Health Service has grown enormously over the last 15 years. Well, so to, be, to be able to cut that budget back rather than to insist that it's got to grow enormously forevermore, I'm afraid is a necessary step. We cannot keep spending welfare and health spending on ourselves and expect <coughs> our grandchildren to pick up the bill. Okay. It is an appalling and immoral state of affairs. This is only a budget for aspiration nation. If your aspiration is to tax the British people to death and to drown our children in debt, and that's okay. not my aspiration for Britain. Mm -hmm. Let, let's... Uh... I'll come, I'll come to the government view in a moment. Let's just hear another. Uh, Natalie Bennett, what's the green view on this? Are you, do you think that the, uh, the government's being steadfast, doing the right thing? Uh, well, I think we have to give uh, George Osborne some small amount of credit. Uh, he might have made a bit of a shambles of the housing policy, but at least this time he hasn't delivered us an omni-shambles like he did last year. So that's something we can look at. And Emily's right. He certainly is being absolutely steadfast in entirely the wrong direction. Austerity isn't working and it absolutely has to stop. And you don't just have to believe me when I say that. You can listen to the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, yeah. that well-known proponent of government spending. Yeah. And the chief economist said last year, if things haven't got better in Britain by the start of 2013, austerity has to turn around. So is that what you'd see now? Would you stop the cuts? Cut taxes? Very much so. And a lot of the things that we need to reverse now are not things that are actually in the budget. They're things that are about to come in now. We've got the dreadful bedroom tax, which is hitting people all around the country. People who are already struggling to survive are going to lose lots of money. And the government's saying move, but there's no flats for them to move <coughs> into of the size that they should be. We're seeing the situation where we've got the, the whole situation of benefits being cut in real terms, and we're going to see a situation within a couple of years. Well, what Joseph you, Roundtree you, says half this, of our children well, will be living in poverty. Half of our children in Britain will be living in poverty in two years' what time you, what, what with the government's of, policies. What do you make of Mark Littlewood's point? Well, what we need points, to do is we need to invest to create a much stronger, different kind of economy. If, an economy not spending, based... Is spending vast amounts of money that you don't have was the route to economic success Greece would be the richest country in Europe and it would be failing out we're Germany not. there. We're not well, like but as, but as, 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 em, as em, we're not like Greece. So. We're as not like as em, Greece. Emily has, as Emily has pointed out. Of money it does not have. As well, would, you has rather, would you rather spend money having a builder unemployed, picking his teeth, or would you rather have the builder actually building some houses it, and putting some we, money into right. the economy? And, and as em, em, Emily has said, we are borrowing. We're borrowing things for things like Trident nuclear missiles. We're borrowing to cut the 50% tax rate. We're borrowing to cut the corporate tax rate on multinational large companies. That's what we're borrowing for. Michael Gove. 